Richard Sherman was arrested on Thursday on suspicion of trying to break into his in-laws house. Um, come again? What's up, everybody, and thanks for checking in with us once again here at The Fumble. I'm your host, Jackie Ray. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and if you feel so inclined, head on over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at JRayTheFanatic. Okay, I have to admit, this one kind of shocked me. First of all, why would I have to break into my in-laws house? Just let me in. It's Richard Sherman, probably one of the last people I expected to be arrested for anything. But let's break this down. Sherman's father-in-law, Raymond Moss, said the pro cornerback was trying to break down the door to enter his home. Moss also said Richard Sherman partially broke the door by repeatedly hitting it with his shoulder and yelled out, come through, Ray, in a threatening voice. Police were dispatched to the home after receiving this 911 call from Sherman's wife. Take a listen. I need officers here now. What's he doing that, that you think he's going to harm he's, himself? He's being, he's, he's being aggressive. He has sent text messages. I took, the, I took the keys out. They're in your car. He's trying to leave now in the house. He's being aggressive. He's wrestling with my uncle. He's threatening to kill himself. He has sent text messages to people saying he's going to hang himself. And he's saying that if the police show up, that so please don't shoot is what I'm asking. Okay, wait. Say that again. He has no weapon. He said if the police show up, that he'll try to fight them. So they okay. need to understand that he is. He is. Okay. This is so traumatic to me on so many levels. If you have a chance, go listen to the full 911 call. It's about four minutes. The 911 operator is rude. She's downright annoyed that she has to do her job and not helpful because you can hear the distress in his wife's voice. And the video I'm going to show you next supports that fear. However, given that he is clearly in some sort of mental crisis and if he's threatening to kill himself, with all that we know about cops in America, I can't imagine having to call people that you have to beg not to shoot your husband for help. There has to be another way. But you can tell from this video that one way or another, Richard Sherman was going to get into that house. Obviously, something caused this situation to escalate to this point, and alcohol could be partially to blame. Sherman's wife said he drank an entire bottle of vodka and an entire bottle of Hennessy. The good thing is, Richard Sherman was taken into custody with minimal incident. According to police reports, the police on the scene were cautious about arresting Sherman because of his size, his strength, and of course the belligerence. After trying to de-escalate the situation, the K-9 unit released a dog who bit Sherman in the ankle. He was arrested, and King County District Court judge found probable cause that Sherman committed four offenses misdemeanor and gross misdemeanor charges of criminal trespass in the second degree and malicious mischief in the third degree, both carrying domestic violence designations and misdemeanor charges of resisting arrest and driving under the influence. The same judge though did decide to release Richard Sherman without bail saying, quote, the cornerback is a pillar of the community. Sherman's wife also said that her husband is on antidepressants and was receiving mental health counseling, but she also stated that he's always been a loving husband and father. But then she said that Sherman said he would commit suicide by cop if they interacted with him. Not the call I would make knowing I would put my loving husband in harm's way. But that's neither here or there. The reality is, incidents like these are becoming far too prevalent with NFL players. I don't know how they will do it, but I personally think the NFL needs to step up their concerns for players and their efforts to try to better address the effects that come with playing the game. Hopefully, Richard can get the help that he needs. We here at The Fumble are pulling for him, and we wish him all the best. Until next time, I'm Jackie Ray. Thanks for watching The Fumble.